everybody, it's uh, Shaden again. Today we're going to be tying a double bucktail, black and white. Uh, it's real simple, we're just imitating a bait fish. Dark on top, lighter on bottom. And it's going to be similar to the one I tied last time, the black and chartreuse. But it's going to be natural bucktail instead, and we're not going to do any flash. Um, when the water conditions are really clear, you want to imitate the catch, or imitate the bait fish. So. We're going to be using a jig head, we're going to be using a trailer hook, we got a 7 inch piece of wire that I folded in half, scissors, lighter, nail head, thread, 280 denier or stronger, uh, wire cutters, vise, and your black and natural bucktail. So to get started, I'm just going to start wrapping, throw a base layer down really tight. Remember there's no loose threads in tying. Every wrap has to be tight. <clears throat> um, and again, top, bottom, because when it's in the water this is on top. So we're going to take a little bit of black bucktail. This is just going to be a plain jay, nothing fancy. Uh, articulated jig, I guess you could call it. Find a good piece. With bucktail, you don't want to do too much at a time because it'll just throw off how it looks. Cut it off from the bottom. Take your shorts and your longs. Throw it where you're going to want it. And you're gonna go one, two, and tighten, one, two, and tighten. My wife's cat has decided to join us. So you might see her walk in front of the camera a little bit. Get that all tightened down. Pull out any loose hairs. Because it's bucktail, you're gonna have loose hairs. Once you get that tie down, you're going to grab your white or natural. You can use white or natural. I am out of white, so I'm using natural. You can use any color, really. Just make sure your darker color is on top. And your lighter color is on bottom, because that's how fish are. Dark on top and light on bottom. And take your bucktail. You're going to size it up. Get it where you want it. Wrap, 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 tighten, wrap, 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 tighten. Let's see if we can do this one in one video and not have to break it up into two parts. How's that look from your side? Looks good. I'm going to wrap it down a little bit so that white kind of lays down. Remember, if you ever need this material to lay down, wrap towards the tail end of it. See how that laid down? And I'm going to do a little bit more on this side just to even it out. And there's always going to be more dark or more light than dark, especially with bucktail. Series, um, these are cheap, they last a long time if you tie them right. So, I mean, uh, later in this year, we're going to be having a, uh, me and my buddy are going to be doing a uh, hand tied jigs versus stick baits or plastics. Um, last year, we found that plastics really well, worked really well where we fish. Uh, then you're going to whip finish. Plastics work really well where we fish. Um, we were able to hook into a few tiger muskie and a countless numbers of smallmouth bass, a couple of largemouth. Um, but I think these will do better because I had better luck with these towards the end of the year. I started tying again in October of last year, so I didn't really get a whole lot of fishing in because as soon as October hit, I mean, it was it's hunting season for me, so kind of got off the water, went out once in November, landed a 43-inch muskie.